Baldi, and in just a moment, we're gonna get started, and I'm gonna create for you a civil rights gloves lately, and the one thing I've been loving is the fact that I don't have to wash my hands as much afterwards. So it may look a little weird, but I'm getting used to it. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm doing so many paintings and we're doing so many more of these live streams that I just want to be able to clean up quick. Either way, as you're joining us here for Paint Life Live, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, shout out your city, state, or country. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or, or actually anywhere like that, uh, we'll go ahead and throw your comment on the screen or if you're watching on, on Instagram, just drop it down below in the comments. Let us know where are you watching from. We wanna shout you out. Uh, so today, the portrait is a civil rights icon. I've done this portrait many times before, but as we're going to celebrate Black History Month, I wanna make sure that we honor this icon. So uh, get comfortable, and also, if you have to leave, uh, we do have these replays, the full-length replays of these live streams on my YouTube channel, which is Garibaldi Arts as well. And uh, also we ask that if you're new here, that you consider subscribing if you're enjoying content like this and whatever platform you're watching on. If you don't already follow, just to hit the follow button. So before we get started, let me know where you're watching from and I'm ready to get into this. You guys ready? If you're ready, let's go. All right, so welcome everybody. Why don't you come over here to the paint area? Are we're live on TikTok? What's that? Okay, it's all plugged in? Cool. All right, welcome everybody. All right, welcome to today's Paint Life Live. My name is David Garibaldi. Now I create these large portraits in minutes to music, but during this live stream, I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna share my process with you, and, and if you have any questions, whether they're related to this painting, whether you're an artist, ask me below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them, uh, whether it's live or maybe later on as well. But for right now, I'd love to hear where you're watching from. Let me know your city, state, or country, and as you share, we'll shout you out as we go. Let's get started and let's create this civil rights icon. So whether you follow the series or not, I, I try to describe what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Sometimes a lot of these techniques are based on instinct. Other times it's based on just trusting the process as well. So there's a couple ways to approach portraits when it comes to color. You can obviously create the portrait using the skin tone that represents the real life person. Or what I'm doing right now is I'm using a color combination like uh, using cool colors for parts of the face that may feel more distant and warm colors for not only the highlights where the light source is coming from, but also parts of the face that may feel closer as well. So I'm gonna be using that technique during this process. And also you'll notice that I'm trying something new. I'm painting with gloves on, these like black latex gloves trying to save some time on cleanup. <laughs> but those of you who are artists out there, I'd love to know uh, if you have any questions, ask them below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them live. If not, maybe I'll answer them in an upcoming video. But welcome to those of you who are joining us. Uh, how are they doing on, on TikTok right now? 
Good. Give me a thumbs up if you're just if you just enjoy watching art come to life or uh, if you're just having a good day. Just give me a thumbs up emoji. I'd love to know how you're doing today. Again, I'm just adding this first layer of color skin tone. But instead, a combination of cool and warm colors. Now I wanted to create this civil rights icon. I've painted their portrait before, but I can never paint it enough. You know, I think the, there's always these icons and people who have uh, represented our culture so well and our history so well that I feel like if I can paint them and that we can learn something in the process that what they stood for or what they sat for, let's see as it comes to life, that it will really truly stand the test of time. I'd love to hear your guesses. Feel free to leave your guesses down below in the comments. Also, by the way, Happy New Year, welcome, you know, it's 2023, and uh, I'm doing my best to be more consistent with these live streams. Uh, we are, I think we've already passed our 100th episode at this point, and so uh, what's crazy is in 2020, we started doing these live streams. We started with just like an iPhone on a gimbal, and throughout the pandemic, we just started building out this live stream studio, one cord at a time, one camera, and so on, and now it's you know, built up into this really amazing uh, opportunity to create on a daily basis. And so uh, if you're wondering where do these live streams go if they're not on TikTok or Instagram, uh, you can find all of these live streams on my YouTube channel, Garibaldi Arts. Just look for the Paint Life Live playlist. Alexa, stop the music. There we go, sorry, I had some music playing in the background. I wanna make sure it was off. I'm gonna switch to some smaller brushes. I feel like these broad strokes are, are uh, not giving me enough line stroke and character. You know, this person's portrait got a lot of character and I wanna make sure that I can pull that out each brush stroke at a time. Any questions coming through? A few guesses, all right, keep those guesses coming. What was the guess? 
Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire, interesting, guess. Those are parts, interesting, okay. I love the Mrs. Doubtfire guess. That, that's, here's the thing, I always say this, whatever your guess is, you're always right. Because you're basing it on, you know, your life experience, what you've seen, and you're, you're comparing this information so far and basing your life experience, so that's okay. We'll find out in a little bit who it is, we'll just keep going. But I just wanted to switch up my brushes I have a little bit more, I don't know, just freedom over these brush strokes. I wanted, I feel like the, the broad brushes weren't giving me enough freedom to move. This feels much better. Even though it's smaller brushes, it's a large surface, I'm still able to get a looseness in the strokes. that I'm uh, trying to achieve. By the way, those of you who are new here, you've never seen these live streams before, maybe you don't follow me, uh, we just ask that you hit the follow button. It's the best way to support these live streams. It helps us keep going uh, as you guys join the Paint Life family. So hit the follow button or subscribe if you're enjoying this process. But stick around, there's still so much more to paint. There is, but also this happens very fast, so don't blink. What's the question? Are you the guy from the All right, so someone just asked, am I the guy from the Juice World videos? Yes, I am. So I did this whole series uh, in the last two years, um, doing the series of Juice World music videos. Rest in peace to Juice World. But big thank you to his team for allowing us to visualize uh, a lot of his most recent songs that they've come out with. But I'm loving these uh, smaller brush strokes, these smaller brushes. Again, you would think that if it's a larger surface, you want to use bigger brushes, but you lose a lot of the character of the, uh, the strokes that really make up the individual. So I'm just building this up one brush stroke at a time from warm to cool colors. The warm colors uh, being the parts of the portrait where the light source is hitting it the most. And also the objects that may feel like they're closer to us. That bright yellow on there. I'm gonna leave some space open for the white highlights as well.
but artists uh, out there watching right now, drop a paint emoji below in the comments so that not only do I know that you're an artist, you're a fellow creator, but also maybe some other artists out there can get to know you as well. So drop a paint emoji if you're an artist, a creator, maybe you sculpt, maybe you create digital art. All right, we're gonna leave some open space again for the really bright highlights, which will kind of bring it all home, bring it all together. But the, these color combinations are my absolute favorite because it's a challenge to me. It's a challenge for me to focus on the value, which is the light and dark of the portrait rather than leaning on the, the natural skin tones of the portrait. So this makes me think about the shapes that make up this portrait. All right, so we're gonna switch over. We're gonna dip these. We're not gonna clean them off completely, but I'm gonna dip them in my white highlights. Kind of makes like a yellowish white. We're gonna start adding these highlights. By the way, I've been doing these paintings for going on 20 years now, and I still feel like I'm a student. I feel like every day is a challenge of, I think about even where highlights go on the portrait or how to make cleaner lines or even how to create looser brush strokes. But whatever you're doing for however long, I hope that you look at it like you're a student for life. Don't ever feel like, you know, there's, you, you've met the top, you've learned everything. I guarantee you there's so much and there's always so much more to learn. Let's go back to the purple. Again, we're gonna start working on these on these teeth and we're not gonna go straight white teeth. We gotta think about if there's shadows in them. So we're gonna start with, what color would the teeth be if they were, had a little bit of a shadow on them? And then you can always come back with white to lighten them up. It may look a little creepy in this process, but just know that it's a process and we're just gonna be building up one brush stroke at a time, add a little bit. We've already given, you know, information about what is a shadow and what, what colors represent highlights. And we're gonna take advantage of that even in the teeth. And that's really the, the ultimate goal is to create consistency in your portraits that's giving your viewer information one brush stroke at a time. All right, so now, now we'll come back with this white highlights. It'll probably mix together, but it's all right. I want it to feel like the teeth are one object. You got blue mixing in with it. Go on this side again. Um, now I'm adding the white, but the white is also, I, I got a little too much excited there but the white is also mixing in with those colors that I already put in and so it's going to create that shadow effect. I had a little too much color mixed in with the white so I'm going to go back to my white after I wiped it off. And I'm just going to make these adjustments just you know the, the beauty of paint is if you make a mistake you just paint over it that's the, the pure beauty of it. There we go. All right, let's keep going up top. Also, I think one of the things that I've, you know, really tried to learn over the past 20 years creating paintings 
is to work more efficiently. And what I mean by that is if I want to create more, it's better for, you know, this art business. So I think about how do I become more efficient in the space that I work in? How do I become more efficient in the content that we create? And think about the processes before I create so that it allows me to create on a more consistent basis. The more consistent we are, the more we get to paint, the more we get to uh, put out to the world. I'm always stepping back too to, you know, see what it feels like from a distance, see what it feels like from your perspective back there. All right, now this is the, a really fun part and important part is creating the, uh, the eyes. So we're gonna start with a darker color and we go with this kind of like a darker yellow. I still want it to feel like it's bright, but a little bit of shadow and I'm kind of letting that black surface still show through as well. So it gives the illusion that there's a shadow being casted over the eyes. I used to like cake on the white of the eyes and it made my paintings look a little cartoony. And so over time I've learned that just little by little adding the white of the eyes. Now it depends on too, what effect do you want to create in the painting? You know, do you want the eyes to be standing out? Then we would add on more white to draw attention. But with these, I want them to feel very subtle, very soft. You know, she's got this beautiful smile. This is the parts. So now we're gonna add in the little white highlights. And also I'm gonna think about that light coming in. So I'm gonna add this little catch to the eye. A little white of the eye. Now I'm gonna define these glasses just a little bit more. All right, this is the fun part. Now, this is what's crazy is, take a look at this now. This is the first layer. Some of you may feel like it's done. Like why, well you can come closer. Like why, why even add more to this? And this is the turning point for every artist, is most artists just stop here. My goal is to push you to go beyond your base layer. And the next thing that I'm gonna to add to this is my sort of artistic voice. Every layer of, of paint or color that I add to this, the life that I give it. I want you to do that. I want you to, to challenge yourself that when you're, you feel like you're done with a painting, you've got your base layer down. I want you to add your artistic voice to it. What is that? Is it paint splatters? Is it extra lines of color? Is it adding more shadow? Whatever that is consistently to you is your artistic voice adding on top of your artistic, or actually adding on top of this base layer and speaking with your artistic voice. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, watch this in a year, it'll make sense. All right, then I'm gonna use, since I have gloves, why not take advantage of these as well? I'm gonna dip my fingers. So I'm finding colors that are consistent throughout this portrait and I'm just pulling them up. I want it to feel like she's she's floating. I'm gonna take some chances and go through some of the shadows on the face. Add some color over here but also pull it up as well. Take that risk Right. Let's let me wipe these off a little bit. Let's keep doing that with more colors. Again, we had our base. You could have thought we're done. We're not. 
Now we're adding the layer that is the artistic voice. And I'm gonna do that by pulling up some of the colors that are in here already. All right, let's keep going. Do this now with the lime green. I'm like, I'm like even taking the wrist, cutting through the eyes. Now I can always come back later with black to define parts of the portrait that maybe I, I melded together too much. That's a technique that I'm gonna use. You can also uh, go back with whatever you're using to create more definition. All right, I think that's good. Let's now wipe those hands. Let's move up to the yellow. Taking a risk. You never know. You never know what's gonna work, what's not. Let's do this too. Let's dip the hands in a little bit of water and let's do the same thing with this turquoise. Let's dip them in the water. Let's have some fun now. Let's use some spray paint. Again, kind of giving it literally a mystical effect. I'm only gonna spray in the parts that I, I can identify purple. If there's one thing I hope to inspire you to do, take a risk when you're creating art. Don't think that every single piece that you're creating is the masterpiece that cannot be messed with and will last the test of time. People will decide if it's a masterpiece. You have to just create. And the more you create and the more you take risks while you're creating, the more it gives people a chance to say if your work is a masterpiece or not. So give yourself that chance to have a masterpiece by creating as much as possible Take as many risks as you can, and when you're done, put up a new canvas, start again. So how, and how do you know when you're done? You know, how do you know when a painting is ready to, to stop. To be honest, I don't know. I wish I could tell you. I wish I had an answer for that. All right, let's do the same thing with the blue. This. Also another technique I'm using is uh, if I press down on the, on the spray tip light, I'll get more paint but less air and it creates a splatter. So I'm using that, I'm pressing down just a little bit, I'm getting more paint than air, but it's creating a little splatter up close. You can't quite see it from where you are, but that's what I'm doing. By the way, I also have a lot of live shows coming up. So even though I'm doing these live streams, I'm taking my time. I do a lot of NBA half times, a, lo uh, a lot of like theater events where we do multiple paintings. It's sort of like going to watch a, a Blue Man Group show, but 
I'm painting. Uh, there's a video on my Instagram account, on different accounts, you can go see what it looks like at a live show. But uh, if you visit garibaldiarts.com forward slash tour, or if you just go to any of my accounts, we have uh, some tour dates coming up. I know this, actually, let's see. I know in uh, January I was doing some half times, but wherever, whatever date it is that you're watching this, just be sure to go visit any of my Instagram accounts. We'll have some tour dates up. I'd love to see you at a live show. Again, but today is not a performance. I feel like we're just, we're learning together. We're taking our time. Can't wait to show you this up close as well. Just a bit. All right, so now let's do this. Let's define some of these lines with the black. So these parts that I feel like maybe mel you know, melted together during this process. Things like this. Just sort of defining parts of her portrait that we don't want to lose. Shadows. And by the way, if you're just joining us, I've been doing this live for you during the live stream. Uncut, you can also see replays of these live streams on my YouTube channel, Garibaldi Arts. Just look for the playlist, Paint Life Live. And we're, this is all created live in one cut for you today. All right, I feel like it needs a little bit more something. I don't know what it is. Maybe we'll just define the outside of this. I'm just turning the just turning the uh, the spray can sideways so I get one side that's defined. All right, let's do one last throw and then we'll end this. Go with this purple. All right, here we go. One last handprint. All right, take one last look at this civil rights icon. Those are parks. And, uh, you know, I do these portraits because one, I wanna represent people who represented our history and our culture so amazing and so well their entire life. I hope that the portraits and these people can be a source of inspiration for you. But either way, take one last look, take a close look at the details of this, and also drop some love for Rosa Parks. If you're enjoying this, just hit those hearts right now. Hit the hearts. Drop some love for Rosa Parks. Just hit the hearts if you're enjoying this. A civil rights icon. back up a little bit. Just take one last look celebrating Rosa Parks, a civil rights icon right there. Just hold it right there. All right, thank you all so, so much for watching this session of Paint Life Live. Once again, my name is David Garibaldi. You can follow me across platforms at Garibaldi Arts. And also you can watch the full length replays of all of these live streams, over a hundred episodes uh, on my YouTube channel, Garibaldi Arts. Look for the playlist, Paint Life Live Streams. And I just appreciate you all hanging out with me today. Again, take one last look at this portrait of Rosa Parks, a civil rights icon. Take a look.
Let me go a little closer, show me. 